we got we never got would I have thought I was gonna commentate two DDDs in a row. This is never gonna happen. <laughs> yeah, you were the one who literally was just like name another DD. Well, there you go. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna be going to Wade beat uh, losers yes, quarters sir. of a pool. We got Dark versus Brave. Wario DD. I mean. If Wario just hits him and keeps up, he's just gonna, he's combo food. He, yeah, dude, he's ab absolutely. This is gonna be like another repeat of the last set mm -hmm. where Wario's entire game plan is to constantly put DDD in disadvantage. Yeah. And then the DDD player, um, Brave, is going to constantly want to keep Wario out, make sure they have the lead for the rest of the set. Yeah. But you, the thing you have to obviously be careful of, even though they like nerf the confirms, is like waft confirms. You have to oh. be careful of it either way. Cause that's just something you're gonna have to worry about as a comeback comeback factor in this matchup. Also, just great job by Dark there. Just keep going for those fights and just keep getting them and get, uh, understanding when that he should be using them and how uh, Brave can go against Ooh, a nice back air. Excellent catch. Yeah, really it's nice. really good to see um, Wario players actually catch people jumping in because a lot of people will. Yo, they're gonna see Wario try to track them down, and then they kind of instinctually panic jump, and then Wario's always catch that out. It's really good. Do you know uh, it's like the the jump zone or whatever? For uh, what? I think Brian Ding and like you suck in neutral. That YouTube channel did like yeah. a whole video on it. Uh, I'm not very familiar with it. Uh, you should watch it. It's a really good informational video. No uh, shout out to Brian Ding. Uh, <laughs> shout, shout, shout out to Brian Ding. Uh, Darkness is kind of running away with this game right now. Even though he's a high percentage, uh, he's got a good amount of damage on Brave. Oh, the Nair actually going to take it right there. Yeah. You know what they say about Wario, though? You're always playing two socks because Wafts, if you hit it, you're just dead. And uh, any percent. Like, you can get any kill confirmed. Yeah, Wafts should be coming up. I think, yeah, yep. there I was about to say. Um, I believe the Waft timer for full Waft from the start of the game is a minute of 50. <gasps> oh, Ooh. an unfortunate SD there from Dark. That's... Yeah, I think uh, Dark accidentally fast fell through the platform, tried yeah. to, like, clip it, and just unfortunately just SD'd there. I think it also had something to do with the inhale win box, but uh, maybe. I'm not sure. Uh, maybe we can go back after the set and, like, go look at it and not... Yeah, but now the mo like, the momentum of this match basically completely shifted in the uh, favor of Brave, nope. keeping the stock lead, racking up this percentage. But I mean, again, um, Brave Dark has not used Waft at all in this match, and is probably going to be saving it for the last stock, um, just so they can get like a really good quick combo. Nice stuff. That's actually the actually going to do it. I did not think it from like maybe closer to center stage, but yeah. actually take it. I mean, he was a pretty high percent, and the F tilt is. It's just fast and it is really like deceptively strong. So yeah, you can definitely see Dark right here, just you know, not baiting their opponent, but just like making sure they're playing safe. Try to get these confirms because again, you have Waft online, you want to use it. This is going to be a critical moment for Dark to be able to get these confirms. Yeah, it's definitely if he's able to like get a Waft confirm, it's his game. And he, Brave knows this. He's trying to play way more patiently, try to force him to approach and catch him off guard. Um, by forcing him to approach and then basically, I can't think of the word. Yeah. But, yeah. Bra Brave getting a really good combo string for about 40%, constantly keeping uh, Brave in. Oh no. Dark getting the combo string, keeping Brave in disadvantage. Edge guard. Yeah, he's looking for the, he's looking for the roll he's right there. You can definitely see. He's just trying to. Oh, oh that's unfortunate. The thing is, um, Dark held that entire lot for the since the start of the game, so it's unlikely that uh, Dark was going to get it back. Oh, this yeah. is a bad situation. I don't think Wario has a bike right here. No. Oh, able Ooh. to get back on stage using the fair to knock away the Gordo. That was really good. DD up tilt, not quite going to do it. 140% on Dark. And oh it hits him God. with the bike. Not oh, maybe with the read in, that uh, roll read in. Yeah. Um, that's not going to do it. I still don't think Wario has the bike. Ooh, he. Oh, so we got half waft online. This could yeah. be. This could come in, in, in um, to help. DD back throw. Does DD have a kill throw? I don't even. Not even sure. Back throw again. Yeah, I I thought up throw was a kill throw. Maybe not. Mm -mm. I. Oh, uh, oh, maybe it wasn't um, half waft. Huh. I don't know. It's yeah. It's weird with how Wario's like waft timer is sometimes. Yeah. If down tilt, down tilt, dash attack on a confirm. Wario keeping DDD at the ledge, gives him back center stage, rolling double time. That's down tilt do from DDD, actually going to take it this time. That was a long set. That was about five minutes long. That was a very long set. Uh, well, not set of the game, but yeah. <laughs> yes, game, sorry. Um, 
And here, we're going to see, I think this is where the inhale uh, No, happens? I believe it was, yeah, yeah it was here we second. go. Yeah, the inhale caused him to go, yep, that's yeah. what it was. Yeah, so he inhale kind of pushes him back a little bit, and then not expecting it, um, he fast falls, trying to land behind him, I believe. You're going to see very clearly that Dark is upset by his SD, which honestly anyone would be. Yeah, it's. I assume um, Dark in that in that situation was trying to look for an up air, um, falling up air fastball. Yeah. Um, into wall. But yeah, like yeah. you said, the the inhale accidentally pushed them a little bit too farther to the left, and accidentally, you know, going with the end lag with and the fastball at the same time is just a bad combo and goes for the SD. Actually, that was. All right, so we're gonna go into game two right now. Sephiroth, Excuse me? Banjo. We just went to completely wait, different. Wait, characters. wait, wait, wait. Did they both counter pick each other? I I guess so. <laughs> um. Yeah, apparently we're going to see Dark on the Banjo this time, and we're going to see Brave actually playing the Sephiroth. Brave up 1-0 in the set. I... It feels like a completely different set with just two different characters on screen right now. Yeah. But Dark right now just kind of looking, running away, kind of looking for these grenades and getting it. Sephiroth going to go for the bear, not quite going to get anything off of it. Brave just actually playing very defensive with Sephiroth. Um, not really wanting to approach that much. Just keep him at a mid dis mid range. Um, keeping him back. He's gonna punish the Wonder Wing. Good on him. Yeah, using the other Wonder Wing to come back. Using another third Two, one three. to actually get back on stage again. <laughs> I mean, I agree with that. You're already at like high per high ish percent. But you know, you gotta use those Wonder Wings to your advantage. Obviously, third goes up. Using another. Board. All right. Very uh, liber uh, liberal use of the uh, Wonder Wings there. Already only at one left, even though he is on high percent. Yeah, but the thing still... you want to keep in mind is that obviously you just want to use them if you really need them. You obviously don't want to like end up losing your stock and having five on deck, because yeah. then you're not you making um, your Wonder Wings efficient enough. You got to use them if you really need them. Right. Ooh, uses it again. Uh, out of Wonder Wings, which actually is pretty dangerous for uh, a position for Dark to be in. Um, I mean, it lasts a long time, so he could theoretically use it to actually hit Sephiroth with a two-frame. Or, like, to hit Sephiroth when he's trying to recover. Um, I'm not sure exactly how that interaction would work, Ooh, but the that's not going to do actually going to take it there for Dark. That's a good stock that Dark wants to take, because now you can just rack up the damage, and you have all this rage. Um, yeah. Sephiroth really doesn't have a kill throw, and a lot of times you really need a raw hit or just a raw counter to get these stocks. So we're going to be even it up two games of one. No, nope. oh. Wonder Wing not going to do it there. Oh, wait, what? I'm... Did Wonder Wings? No, 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 not no. One Wing. No. Did One Wing screw it up? I don't know. I'm not sure what happened there. No. Uh, we look, I think it kind of looks like he. Yeah, I have no idea. I don't know. Yeah, we'll have the replay later. I think he up feeds, but I'm not sure. Yeah, we'll have to check later. Uh, so anyway, Brave kind of with the lead right now, 75% on Dark, and just keeping him at bay. Banjo, the kind of character that really, it's just an odd character in every way. He has like very low airspeed, um, so you can't really approach him in the air. And with Sephiroth, he's just kind of abusing that by throwing out these neutral bees. Because uh, if you take the, if you shield that you are, you could possibly break, have your shield broken, um, especially with the more charged ones like the second stage or the third stage yeah. one. Dark is going to be able to take that stock out, getting accidentally hit by the Sephiroth neutral B. Oh, he's going a ton on him and <laughs> instead. Right now, Brave is actually up in the set, so I mean maybe Dark can uh, bring this back to make it a game three situation, but we'll have to see. Yeah, definitely. Oh no, wait. Uh, Dark has, oh, I just realized they're both on one stock. I thought that uh, Brave had one. one no, stock. that was the accidental SD, maybe. Oh, yeah. yeah. Ooh, down that's smash. Down smash and not able to break the shield. Dark able to get that meaty uh, forward air right there for a swift hit. Just going to be taunting at the ledge. OK. F smash, he's going to punch the F smash with the fair, and that is going to do it. Yeah. We are on to game three, folks. Yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty close right now between these two. The the thing that was kind of unexpected is that they, you know, they switched both characters in real time. Mm -hmm. So it was just kind of odd to see that kind of uh, thing. You know, you normally if you win, you typically stay your character, and if you lose, you you know, you might want to switch. So you're yep. gonna see what happened. 
It looks like... It Yo, Sephiroth's falling, 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 falling. falling. Up oh, that's Uppy. Yeah, so yeah. he did Uppy. Yeah, it wasn't Uppy. So I guess he reversed it and went the wrong way. I'm not sure exactly what happened there, why he went towards the blast zone. I'm also just trying to figure out, unless like you exhausted all of your jumps, there's no way that you intentionally go for an uppy that far away because it just won't reach. Right. Um, Maybe that's why he uppied into the blast zone, but I swear he saw I mean, the jump. I don't know. I, I thought it was an uppy towards ledge. We're going to see another character swap, actually. We're going to be seeing Brave switching over to the King K. K. Rule off of Sephiroth. But we're going to see Dark continue to play Banjo here. Yeah. I mean, Brave has chosen three different characters this set. He's just trying to keep uh, Dark guessing and not really adapt to his characters. Like, it's definitely an interesting idea. k is one of those characters that likes to zone, throw out Crown and Cannonballs, and then kind of... Uh, oh, excellent up air there for the quick stop. Only 30, less than 30 seconds in, and Brave is taking a quick lead into this set. Yeah. And... Dark is definitely going to have some trouble catching up right now. I mean, Banjo is not really the comeback kind of character, so... <laughs> it's a double Wonder Ring. You're never going to expect it right there. <laughs> Dark is going to keep uh, Brave right at ledge, but, I mean, not... I mean, King K. Rule is one of the heavier characters in the game, and it's going to be... You're not really going to get a really quick KO at a 98%, so... Oh, yeah, for sure. And already, Brave kind of running away with the lead. 66 on Dark. 75 now. Looking pretty bad for Dark, and he has extended, uh, expended three of his Wonder Wings right now, so... Yeah, you still have a lot in the pocket, so you can use it. Good down smash into uh, up, up smash... Good. No, down throw into up smash conversion. That's really one of the uh, um, Banjo's signature um, you know, ways to get stocks. And it was really good um, by Dark to be able to get that. But Dark's going to be in a little bit of a disadvantage, getting set off stage. Uses one of the Wonder Wings that they had. Uses Ooh, the last one. him with the Cannonball uh, suck. Yeah, no Wonder Wings to be able to get back to ledge. So let's see how they're going to play the stock without the Wonder Wings. Brave able to get them up in the air, but is not going to try to go and juggle him at all. Just lets him get down for free. Which, honestly, with a character like Banjo, I don't really agree with. Uh, going to throw out Crown, trying to edge trap. And Ooh, oh, the returning Crown into the up air is going to steal that second stock. Brave is doing really well in this matchup versus Banjo. And just doing really well um, and holding... Um, the lead right now. Dark. Ooh, I think that was a miss punish. I think they could have uh, they could have um, gotten a shield drop there. Ooh, yeah, excellent the conversion cannonball. using the cannonball. Down throw, gonna go for the up tilt. Yeah, nice. up tilt not really gonna do it. It's not snakes up tilt, so. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, sometimes it will kill if you do like a down throw into like an up tilt, maybe like 150. Oh, gonna miss that up air though, and Dark not in a great position right now. Yeah, Dark is losing this lead really bad right now, and you really need to get this KO. Good up tilt there. there. Actually, that's going to take it for the KO. Um, definitely not out between both players. We just got to see um, how can Dark bring this back. Ooh, up excellent smash. That's up gonna smash. Kill. Actually going to take it. Holy. I don't even I don't even think that was just bad DI. I think that was just dead. That was just a strong Banjo. Like, that Banjo's strong. And he's also super, I think he's like snake weight too. He's super heavy. Yeah, he's on the, not like super heavy side, but not like piranha plant. It's like a little yep. bit, yeah, around around yeah. snake, yeah. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, that up smash is gonna, that up smash is just a crazy, crazy conversion right there. That was just really good for them. Definitely. So, you know, that was really good. That was a really good set. We got two DDDs yep. in a row, which is honestly, I think I, I, I never would have expected that. <laughs>